Hello everybody and welcome to another video on the Paul Position YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be looking at Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen for uh, this 2021 season. Obviously we had a good uh, last few laps battle in between the two of them. Um, so we're going to be talking about that. Hamilton's uh, discussing uh, where he is in terms of his overall performance during his career. And also Total Wolf's uh, just come out with some news regarding the contract talks with Hamilton uh, for next year onwards. So let's discuss it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So obviously we had a great last few laps in Bahrain uh, with uh, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton battling it out for um, the, the first place of, of the race. Max Verstappen and Red Bull did show great pace throughout the race. But obviously, I think due to a few maybe pit stops, uh, Verstappen was, was out a little bit too long. Um, Mercedes and, and Lewis Hamilton managed to jump um, and uh, yeah, uh, stayed in the lead. There was obviously that overtake, but you know due to uh, track limits. But you know that that's gone. We're not going to go into that anymore. Um, but obviously, Lewis Hamilton came out uh, victorious. Um, but even though um, Lewis Hamilton came out with the win, he still understands how good uh, Red Bull and Max Verstappen are going to be this season. But in terms of his overall performance, he's been saying how. Um, Sort of, he he's actually hit his peak, um, and he's at his best performance, uh, putting in his best performances of, of his career. Um, and and I, I totally agree. I think in this last uh, 12 to 18 months, we have seen a, an absolute mighty Lewis Hamilton. And I know we can say, and maybe I've said it in the past as well, that obviously that Mercedes car has been vital for him you know, being able to win this many championships. But you need a good car and you need a good driver in there. And, and you know, I think Lewis Hamilton has been showing that with his performances. I always go back to Turkey last year. You know, his teammate was, was spinning around um, in, in the wet and, and everyone else looked a bit shaky. Whereas Lewis Hamilton just absolutely nailed that race and, and won the world championship from it. So, yeah, I think, you know, he, he's, he said each year we're talking about when you've hit your peak. This is after the Bahrain race. And he says, I think I'm probably at that level now. Um, and Mac, Max is doing really well at the moment too. So it's going to take everything and more for us to put in the performances that we did in this race in Bahrain throughout the 2021 season. But he's also stated, uh, we love a challenge at Mercedes and I love a challenge uh, as well. And I still love what I do. So obviously he's still keen to, to stay in the sport, wherever that's be till the end of the season, whether it'll be until 2022, 2023, we, we, you know, we don't know. Um, but he, you know, he's also stated that it, this has started as one of the toughest seasons he's ever had. Uh, it's only the third time he's won the, the first race of the season in his Formula 1 career as well. So usually he doesn't um, sort of start the season well in terms of the first race. So you know, obviously getting that's a bonus for, for Hamilton. But I think, again, he's highlighting how good Red Bull are going to be this season. Um, you know, we've not started out as the strongest team. He's highlighting that, that Red Bull are probably the strongest team starting the season um, and it's going to be the toughest battle um, that, that they've had ever had. Uh, I think Red Bull's pace is incredibly strong, um, as obviously people can see at home. Uh, we can't match them in qualifying right now uh, and that's a big, big step for us. Uh, but obviously we're, we're going to be trying to get closer and that little bit closer each race as we go by. Now in terms of Imola, we obviously knew uh, in terms of last year, Max Verstappen crashed out in, in Imola last year. So uh, hopefully it fares better for them um, for, for, for this race coming at the Imola circuit next, um, next um, weekend. Um, so that yeah, we've still got one more week left to to, to wait um, before this this round two of of the Red Bull battle. But I think if if Red Bull really do want to keep on that challenge um, for, for this year, I think they need to win that Imola race. And obviously, I might go into my predictions um, before for next weekend. But I just feel like it will really heat up then. If Mercedes win the first two races, we're obviously still going to be talking about how good Red Bull's pace is. But Ultimately, if, if Mercedes win the first two races, people might be going, oh, here we go again. So I think Red Bull really knew need to put on a challenge. We mentioned Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez as well. I think he was unlucky with the with the qualifying situation. I believe maybe they should have put on better tyres for that second run in, in Q2 and, and not being back out on the mediums. But Red Bull decided to do that and obviously didn't get a better time and had to start further back and then had to start from the pit lane because of their issues. So hopefully Sergio Perez is, is higher up for, for Red Bull in terms of strategy as well. For, for, for Imola um, but yeah that's what we're all looking forward to to next weekend uh, but Toto Wolf has gone on to say that he, he obviously wants to retain um, Lewis Hamilton um, past past this year um, I've, I've, I very much hope um, so in terms of 
uh, what Toto Wolff has said in regards to the question being asked to him. Uh, the journey that we've had together was has, has been very successful. He has been a Mercedes driver uh, and a Mercedes kid, really, since since he's grown up with obviously um, McLaren having the Mercedes power unit. Um, but he, he didn't really want to go into too much more detail. Um, he says, I don't want to leave it until next January um, to confirm the two drivers, because obviously Valtteri Bottas is out of contract as well. Um, I think George Russell at the same time is out of contract um, for, for the end of this year. So, yeah, all the sort of main Mercedes drivers are out of contract for, for this year. Uh, but he said, obviously, um, for, for next year, there's a lot of balls in the air, as it were, and we'll always try to do the best for the team long term. Um, as well as giving loyalty to our current driver lineup, so it's interesting that he's put long term ahead of the the current driver program, which means you know we could see a couple of changes uh, going into 2022. I honestly think it's it's it will have to do with who wins the championship this year. If Lewis Hamilton beats Max Verstappen in one of the toughest seasons that he's ever had. When he's mentioned that he's at peak performance, with a new regulation change coming in 2022, is he going to want to stay for another year? I'm not sure. I think he might. If he wins the championship this year, you know, beats sort of Michael Schumacher and becomes the best in terms of facts and in terms of the history books, he may not may not stay for next year. So I'm still in the I'm still in the, the sort of the court that if he wins, it's going to be Bottas and, and Russell for for next season for Mercedes. But let me know your thoughts. Do you think Lewis Hamilton will be at Mercedes next year with these contract talks that that Toto Wolff is 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 mentioning, and obviously he wants to get the deal done earlier than uh, say the beginning of next year in 2022. Uh, and let me know in regards to uh, Lewis Hamilton in terms of his peak performance. Do you think he's at his peak? Do you think he's still got a few more years left? Um, and, and yeah, in terms of Imola, hopefully Red Bull are a little bit better and they win the first, uh, well, win their first race of the season, but win the second race of the 2021 season. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really does mean a lot. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care. See you soon.